Hey babe. Yep. Hey, breakfast is ready. Yeah. All right, sit and eat quickly. You don't want to be late for work. I'm the GM. No one can query me. Come on, babe. You have to lead by example. All right, be fast so it doesn't get cold. You know I don't like to rush my meal. Well, you should have been up earlier, Mr. Greg Mukuru. I can't be doing everything for you now, can I? But you're my everything. You should be able to do everything. Okay. Yes, I am. And you're my all-in-one. So eat. I will. <laughs> Good and I've got to go. All right, dear. Have a great day at work, okay? Yeah, I agree. And then one more thing. When you return, there is something very important I have to tell you. Mm, well, tell me. Are you pregnant? No. <laughs> Just go and enjoy the sauce first. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. Mm. Love you. Love you too. To bed, darling. What's up? Just come over. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. What you want to talk about needs me to come into bed. Just quick being silly. <laughs> <sighs> um. Okay. Let me just get straight to it. Mm, I like that. Straight to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, you remember my older half-sister, Jennifer? Oh yeah, Jenny. How's she doing? She's fine. Um, she's going to be coming to the city and she has to do her service with ATN. That's amazing. That service, meaning she decided to complete her education. That, that's great. How time flies, right? Yeah. <laughs> So where will she be staying? Uh, well, um, babe, uh, that's why I wanted us to discuss it. No, 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 we're not going to do this. We are not going to do this. You know how I like our privacy? And you know I don't want anyone, not one person invading that privacy. So why are we having this talk? I mean, we've talked about this time and time again. I, I don't understand why. No, it's not happening. But there is nowhere else for her to stay, Greg, please. That's fine, I'll just sort out an apartment for her. No, I do not support that, Greg, not at all. Like, she's my sister and I would like her to come stay with me. Yo, while I'm here, that is not going to happen. Okay? Greg. And I thought I was up for something more interesting. Babe, really? Babe.
Hey you. So what, you're going to give me attitude because I said your sister can come over? There is nothing wrong with me. Really? All right, come here. You're having your alone time. I don't want to be a distraction. But you already distracted me. So you're going to have to finish what you started. Hmm? <laughs> what are you doing? Sneaking up on you, what does it look like? And you know what happens when I get turned on. Oh, Greg, not now. Why not? Right now, right here, baby. Here? Woo! Here? Mm -hmm. They provide it everywhere else but in the living room. You're talking like you're trying to hide from someone. We're alone in the house, it's our house. And there's always a first time, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can there be at this time of the day? I don't know. Let's go check it out. Let's see. You just hold it right there. <laughs> Babe, who is it? Sis, I'm to resume tomorrow, and I don't know what to do. Oh my god. Okay, Jenny, you know what? Just get your things to the guest room, okay? But you're leaving first thing tomorrow morning. Greg? Please, look, I didn't know. No, okay? don't, don't you dare. You didn't know what? Look, you have to believe me. I didn't know she was coming over. Oh, so you can't obey a simple instruction, right? What you're trying to tell me is that you can't listen to me anymore. Is that it? No, look, listen, Greg, please, you have to listen to me. I didn't know she was coming. Okay, look, first thing tomorrow morning, she's going to leave, okay? I never told her to come. You have to believe me, Greg. I'm sorry, please. First thing, one, she's gone. <sighs> so what is she still doing here? Me, I haven't seen her all morning. Um, babe, let me go upstairs and check on her, okay? I'll be right back. Jenny! <laughs> Jennifer! Jennifer, what's wrong? Are you okay? Jeez, you're burning up! What's wrong? I, I I need to go to the hospital. Okay, just give me a minute, okay? I'll be right back. Sorry, I'm coming. Oh. 
Greg, Jenny is sick. Look, I need to take her to the hospital. Really? And you're sure this is not some gimmick so she can still stay in the house? Can you just get over it already? She is still my sister and she is sick. And all you can think of is a gimmick. Look, Greg, I am taking her to the hospital. And she's going to stay with me until I'm sure she is 100% fine. Now, if you don't want that, then I'm sure you don't want me either. Fine. Shoot yourself. send you money, yeah? Thank you for everything, sis. I don't know what I would have done without you. It's okay, Jenny, okay? You know we have a responsibility to look out for each other. Now you remind me of mom and dad. <laughs> May their soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. You know, they never failed to remind us of our responsibility to one another. They sure did. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Jenny, about staying. Don't worry, you can stay here for as long as you can, okay? You know, until you put yourself together. And Greg? Don't worry, I'll handle my husband. Don't worry about it. Hey babe, lunch is ready. I'll have mine later, I'm going for a swim. I guess he's too mad at me. Don't worry, he'll get over it. Look, don't worry, okay? Just relax. Let me get your medication, okay? I'll be back. you wander off to? No way. Okay. Alright. Here is your medication. Just take it, okay? It's okay. You, you're going to be fine, okay? I'll be in my room. Thank you. It's okay. Are you 
serious. Oh my God. What is it? <sighs> Babe, I got it. I got the space. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. That's great news. Babe, great is an understatement. You don't know how long I have waited to start seeing my clients. <sighs> I'm really happy for you. Babe. Mm -hmm. Thank you. For what? What are you thanking me for? I know you made this happen. Don't try to deny it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got me there. Um, thing is, I know how important it is to you, you know, to help people fulfill their abilities, you know, maximize it and all. And for the past months, you've not been yourself. So, yeah, I paid the extra to the agent to help you secure the space, you know, just for you. Thank you so much, babe. Thank you. Not a problem, but no, you are going to thank me properly, so come here. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, oops. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'll be in my room. Babe, I'm sorry. I, I forgot to lock the door. I just hope one day she won't come in here and meet us in the middle of it. Greg, where are you going to? To get a drink. I'm so sorry to have barged in on you that way. I didn't expect you to be back from work. Even at that, you should have still knocked. I'm so sorry. I was only excited because of the recognition award at work. Mm. You got an award? What award is that? Interim Staff of the Month. Mm, that's, that's good. Really good. How long have you been there for now? Um, two months, right? Yes, and I hope to win it every month. That will get me retained. Mm -hmm. Good. 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 Uh, when she comes down, I'll give her the news. Great. Um, congrats again. Oh, thank you. Oh, Greg, I can't tell what he does to me. I watch his slim masculine body stretched out as he dives into the swimming pool. 
I know more than ever before how badly I want him. I want you, Greg. You can't, Jenny. He's your half-sister's husband. Why does she always have to get the best? I want him. Think about it, Jenny. No. Just stop it. Hey, Jenny. Oh, hi. Are you okay? Oh, sure. How are you? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I thought I heard you talking with someone. Me? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> I wasn't talking with anyone. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. So, how are you? I'm fine. I have news. You have news? Okay, let's hear it. Okay. Um, I want to tell you that I love you. Look at you. Stop teasing. <laughs> I'm serious. I love you too. Mm. What our sisters were. Thank you for everything. It's okay. I hope you're you're finding everything yes. comfortable. You're fine and all of that. Oh, thank you. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy you're here. Honestly. Thank you. For anything to drink? Oh, yes, for me. Babe, you? I'm good. Clients coming in tomorrow for an hour session each. Mm, you know, I think you really should be having more clients. So, what I'll do is I'll talk with some of my friends okay. and I'll see how that goes. Oh, that's great, babe. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. This tastes really good. Really? You yeah. like it? Mm. Love it. Thank you. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. I see you're enjoying the sun. Oh, yeah. But unfortunately, you can't join me. Yeah. Um, I spoke with your sister. She'll be back shortly and she's really stressed. So I want to go in and help with some of the chores. I think you should just try and help with some of the things in the kitchen. Yeah? 
Because you know, okay. by the time she gets back, she'll be pretty exhausted. Okay. She doesn't know how to swim and she had to go into the pool. Oh my god, Jenny, are you okay? Sorry, okay? Alive. All thanks to you. You're welcome. But you must never go there again. <laughs> never. Okay, Jenny, here you go. Um, this will warm you up from the inside, okay? Okay, thank you, sis. Jenny, don't you think you should wear something to protect you from the cold? I'm good. You should. Everything okay? Yeah, she's fine. She just needs to rest a little. Mm -hmm. So, how was your day? Mm. How was your day? It was um, pretty Aquamanish. <laughs> <laughs> so silly. Yeah. <sighs> you look really good. I should take a swim in you right now. Mm -mm. Don't start. Mm -mm. Don't start. But I want to. Mm -mm. What was that all about? I don't get you. Listen, Jennifer. You are in the house of a married man, so you should consider what you put on, okay? He might be my sister, but he is my husband, and he is still a man. Hmm. I get you now. Thank you.
please, can you drop me off? Um, but we're not going in the same direction. Yeah, but I can drop at the bus stop. Okay, come in. Thank you. Jennifer! Jenny! Where is this girl? Jenny! Where is this girl? I wanted to show her some products. I mean, like... That's weird. Where is she? I thought you were going that way. Do you want me to stop so uh, you can... No need. I intend to resume late today. I don't understand. Why would you want to do that? You can't win interim staff of the month like that. I don't care about that anymore. I just want to be with you for the rest of the day. What are you doing? <laughs> Come on. Just relax and drive. <laughs> Look, what are you doing? You need to stop. You need to stop. Stop this. I know my sister. She is crazy sexy. But I'm sexier and more adventurous. I'm sure you've never had it on the car before. <laughs> You really need to stop. What is wrong with you? You're going to make us oh. run into a vehicle. Oh. Stop. Stop this right now. You need to stop. <laughs> okay, you know what? You need to stop. We're going to run into... Oh. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What has come over you? What is wrong with you? Oh, come on, baby. <laughs> Is everything all right, sir? Yes, um, everything is fine. You just, um, you take that to HR, I will deal with this and, um, okay. when you're done, you just come right back, okay? Okay, sir. What is your problem? Is something... What was that about? Look, listen, you need to stop. You need to put an end to this. Look, if you don't, I will, I will tell your sister what... Look, you know what? Just, just stop it already, okay? I'd like to have a word. I'm all ears. Good. 
You've been up to quite a number of silly things and I'd like to address them. Firstly, I want to forget what happened in the car the other day that almost got both of us killed. I want to forget that you sent me nudes while I was working. I also want to forget what just happened at the dining. I want to forget it all. Now, whatever it is you hope to achieve, it will not happen. You need to stop, okay? You need to stop. I beg you, please, stop. But seriously, I think we should get to a place of our own. Craig, I don't know. I'm afraid of what might happen to her if she's left on her own. You should be afraid of what she would do around people. What is that supposed to mean? Is there something you're not telling me? No, no, no. I'm, I'm just trying to be reasonable. That's it. Look, she won't be the first lady at age who will be, you know, living on her own. She won't be. Look, babe. I owe her this. No, seriously. But I was really never there for her when she needed me. Yeah, granted, she's my older half-sister. But I had opportunities in the past that she didn't have. So I'm just using this as a chance to make things right for her. Amanda, I know she's your older half-sister. You don't need to remind me that. But you don't owe her anything. At least not in the way you think you do. You both had equal opportunities, but she chose to socialize and just throw everything away. It's not your fault. I mean, look, it's not your fault she refused to, you know, go to school or attend the same school you went to because she had that opportunity. She made a choice. Babe, why are you sounding like this now? Hmm? Okay, anyhow, like, probably in three months' time, she'll probably be retained by ATN or we get her a job. And then she could save up and get a place of her own. We better still get married. Come on. Please. Me. Please. What is this? Is this you trying to wriggle your way out of this? Is it working? <laughs> Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's working. <laughs> 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 Whatever. Come here. You have to get hold of yourself, Jenny. You need to seriously get hold of yourself. I'm Karina. I'm Jenny. So, straight to business. I've heard so much about you. And I'm sure you will not disappoint me. Sure, I won't. I have to give you a little information about him. Okay. He goes to work by 7 mm -hmm. and comes back home by 6 p.m. Okay. So if you have to get him, it has to be around 10 to 12. As at that time, before he goes for lunch. Please, I need a clean job. 
Oh my God. You know, this work is a small thing for me to do. I have done so many jobs bigger than this, so you need to trust me. I and my crew, we are good at what we do. Hmm? So just trust me. Oh, okay. Um, but before you leave, how do I get my payment? Come on, don't worry. I will pay you. As far as I get evidence, once I get my evidence, forget it. I will transfer your money to you. No problem. The work is done. Take you care. You have to be smart. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Yeah. Have to hurry. Okay. Hi. Hi. Um, can I have a moment with you? By the way, nice car. You look good. Thank you. Okay, can I have a word with you, please? I've been actually been waiting for you and... Listen. Um, if you're not free, maybe I can give you a call or something, your contact. Mr. Greg, your contact, like, please. Okay, so Jenny, please, you have to try to come home on time, okay? To make dinner. I don't want my husband eating out. I hope he will like my food. You know I'm not a good cook like you. Can you listen to yourself? You have to, you have to be ashamed. Look at you. I beg, sis, that's the truth. <laughs> okay, anyway, anyhow it is, look, just make sure he has something to eat, okay? I don't want him eating out, please. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Babe. Mm-hmm. Please, promise me you won't stay more than two days. I won't, okay? As soon as my speaking engagement is over, I'll be back. You promise? I promise. All right, then. Let's get moving. <laughs> Please try and come back early. I'll prepare your favorite.
<laughs> oh my god, really? Oh my god, it was so fun. I laughed so hard. Oh my god. Ah. Hey. Hi. How are you, Jenny? Fine. I thought you'd be at work by now. Um. Ah uh, yes, I came back early so that I can prepare dinner for Greg. Oh, wow, I see you've been taking good care of a great. Uh, I'm only carrying out the assignment you said I should do. Uh, anyway, how was the event? It was great. But I'll just you later, okay? First, uh, okay. I need to take a shower. Uh, right? Okay. Honey, I need your help. Uh, <laughs> 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 Stupid again. <laughs> What is it? Uh, babe, it's nothing. I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, I know you're too well to take that answer seriously, so tell me. Seems there's more. What is the problem? Babe, it's, it's just, um, Look, babe, it's it's nothing, okay? Just come back, just just sleep, okay? Come back to bed, okay? Did you go to see Dr. Miller? <sighs> no, um I didn't go to see her. I mean it's nothing for you to worry about, okay, babe? Just come on, let's Sleep. Come back to bed and sleep. I should go back to sleep. I should just go back to sleep. No, better still, maybe we should just have another round of sex. Okay? What is wrong with you? It's been five years. Are you not even bothered? Of course it bothers me, Greg. I what makes you think I'm not bothered? Well, you don't act it. You don't. You, you, I, I, don't I don't see it. Do you know what sort of pressure? No, 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 do not talk to me about pressure, Greg. I am the woman here without a child for the past five years. So don't, don't talk to me about pressure. You know what? I don't have time for this. Why are you going to Greg? Why does she have to come back? Why? Just calm yourself, Jenny. You have nothing to be afraid of. He loves you, not her. He wants you, not her. In a matter of time, he will be mine. He will be all mine. Yeah. Who? I'm not expecting anyone like that, but anyway, just let her come right. Mm -hmm. Um, please have a seat. Thank you. Um, um Miss Karina, right? I, I, I don't remember us meeting you before. Yes, Karina. I've heard a lot about you and your company, so I decided to come by. Um, okay, interesting. You heard a lot about me and, um, the company because I don't own it, but oh. yeah. Yeah, so do, do you have any um, business for us to discuss? Yeah. Mm, 
okay actually I have something to discuss with you um. uh, I've been hearing so much and Wait, I, 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 I really don't think this is the... No, she just, she just hold on. Listen to me. Did you marry my sister? It would have been me. Bad. How's your day today? Mm. Not so bad. I had a bad day at work. Oh, you want to talk about it? Oh, no, I'll talk about it later. I have a report to write. I'll be in my room. Okay. No longer stand her. No, I can't. Hi. I want to see Greg. Um, what's your name, please? Jenny. Jenny who? Just tell him Jenny, he knows me. Okay, two minutes. Yeah? Hello, sir. Yes, there is a lady by name Jenny. She wants to see you. Let her in. All right. You can go in now. You can't don't enter one chance with this one. I thought you said you were going to the... Come hotel. on, darling. Don't say anything. 
Just make a move to me. Can't, can't do this. Can't do this. What is wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Don't even bother deleting the pictures because I have backup. <laughs> I'll shut the door. Come on, darling. Just be a sweet boy. You're really enjoying your leave. My sister won't be back until weekend. And um, what are you insinuating? <laughs> hey. Come on. Hey, you really need to stop. Hey! What is wrong with you? Come on. I will be in my room. I have great news for you. Um, you got retained at your workplace? Congrats, because that's all I can think of right now. I'm pregnant. What did you say? I said I am pregnant. And you call that great news? Yes, it is. No, it's not. But why? What sort of stupid question is that? You're my wife's sister. You can carry my child. Did you really say that? Are you, are you, can you believe what you're saying? How, wait, how did you let this happen? How did you let yourself get pregnant? Why, why didn't you protect yourself or something? So why didn't you? Listen, that's not what we're talking about now. You can't keep it. Period. But why can't I? It's not even like you have anything to show for your five years of marriage. And what is that supposed to mean? Isn't it obvious? Look, whatever, okay? You can't keep that. You can't just, just do whatever. Right? Yeah. Oh, wow. The clients are just overboard, like so <laughs> many issues, I'm yeah. telling you. Uh -huh. Amanda. Yeah? Um, honestly, I think you should try that stuff. There's nothing like it. No, thank you. Look, my husband and I have an amazing sex life. I don't need any enhancer. That's what they all say until they try one pill. <laughs> look, Simi, look, I'm not one of your troubled patients, okay? Trust me, darling. Everyone is a slave to something. Hmm. By the way, how is Greg? Well, Greg is doing fine. Oh, okay. He's good. Yeah, that reminds me, Simi. Hmm. Can I ask you something? What about? 
What really makes men cheat? Seriously? Are you asking me that question? Babe, that's a very <laughs> serious question, okay? No one is an island of wisdom. I'm so sorry on. about that. Mm. Oh, well, <laughs> okay. Men cheat for so many reasons, but the most common reason is because they can't help it. It's in their nature to cheat. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, give them everything, they'll still go back to the other woman. More like saying we're never enough for them. That's just terrible, you know? Yeah, really terrible. Um, are you having problems with Greg? Oh, no, not at all. Um, it's one of my clients. Maybe I should recommend her to you. Okay, ask her to give me a call then. No problem. Get in. Um, I've been meaning to ask um, your sister, when is she relocating? It's been eight months. Uh, babe, I thought we agreed that she finishes up her service here and, you know, most likely get a job, save up and then get an apartment. No, we had no such agreement. You imposed that on me. Uh, Greg, why the sudden desire for you to want her to leave. I mean, I thought you guys were getting along pretty well. I don't follow. <sighs> come on, Greg. Don't pretend that you really, really want her to leave. I mean, come on, she's been a good girl, hasn't she? Okay, look, I know, okay? You know what? <sighs> Babe, I know that she has to leave. All I'm asking is that we should just give her a little more time. That's all, okay? Please. Listen, and for the records, I really want her to leave. I am two weeks gone and you're not doing anything about our baby. Okay, wait, no. You need to stop right there. <sighs> Firstly, there is no R in this. There is no baby, okay? We shouldn't be talking about this. This shouldn't be up for discussion. You know what to do. Very well then. If you don't want to discuss it, maybe my sister will love the idea. You wouldn't dare. Let's see to that. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What do you want? I don't want anything. I just want to be with you and have our baby. But you know that's not possible. That cannot happen. But it can. It's very simple. Divorce her and marry me. You know what, I'm just, I'm just going to pretend I didn't hear that. You don't need to pretend, my darling. It will eventually happen. I know you would love to be with someone that loves you and is fruitful enough to have your children. Now, you need to stop! You need to, sh you need to stop right there, else you will get it hot. <laughs> that will happen sometime. I would like to get it hot. You hate me? We'll do that. <laughs> I know this is a fantasy. You would like to come to reality. And that can only happen through me. 
Lastly, start processing the divorce papers. Be among those in here making noise. Don't talk! <laughs> Shut up! Be careful. She, she, she seems like a, a, a noise maker. <laughs> Shut up! Please, don't, don't hurt anyone. Whatever you want, I promise we'll give it to you. Just don't hurt anyone, please. Relax! Okay? Calm down. What we are here for is bigger than what you have to offer! We know you have about 2.5 million and so we are in this house. Shut up! You are going to give it to us. I promise you. I don't have that kind of money in you. Shut up! He's telling me. Shut up! <laughs> Apparently you don't know your husband too well, huh? You don't know your stuff too well, eh? You don't know what it does, eh? You don't know the this it does. Stop run! Start the house! Make it quick. Shh! You have that kind of money. Shut up! Stupid man, eh? Or lying, eh? Yeah, why you lying. You, you wanna... Shut up! Don't, you don't say a word. Don't. Thank 
fine, okay? Let me get you some water. me like that. I still can't believe you could do what you did to me. No, but what are you talking about? I didn't do anything to you. Sure you did. Why did you hesitate to call the police, Greg? How was I supposed to explain having that amount of money on me? Yeah, you need to explain that to me. I mean, because I don't understand what you were doing with such a huge sum of money in the house. It's not my money. It's for my boss. I just forgot to hand it over. Really? Yes. You didn't have to go that far, Greg. What are you talking about? Why don't you tell her yourself? Tell me what? Greg, what, what is she talking about? I don't know what she's talking about. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what she's on about. Sure you do. I told him about our baby. And next thing, the robbers came to the house. It's no coincidence the way they were kicking on my tummy region just to kill my baby. No. <laughs> wait, 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 Greg. Tell me it's not true. Babe, no, don't listen to her. It's all a lie. No, <laughs> it's not true. Listen, Amanda, I swear, I am not lying to you. Babe, really, you, you believe her over your husband? <laughs> I believe her, Greg. I believe that you slept with her. I also believe that she may be carrying your baby. Madam, these are the test results. I am afraid. I got bad news. Your womb has been damaged. And this test result shows no improvement. It may be difficult for you to bear children. Just take it easy. Take it easy, please. So you knew all this while that you couldn't bear children and you didn't discuss it with me? You, you, you didn't think you should have told me? I was hoping for a miracle since you were getting impatient. Amanda, so you invited me to this house for your own selfish reason? Jennifer. Sister dearest. You know, you've always given me the impression on several occasions how 
how you wished you were me. That your greatest wish is to have my husband. I know all about your obsession. So, I made things easy for you. I invited you over. I even went on that little trip, remember? Just to make things easy for you. But all I really want is a child. This has been all you. This, you had this all planned out all along. It's better to have my sister have your child rather than some random stranger. You're a sick woman. Babe, you need to see the bigger picture here. The only picture! The only picture I see here is you packing your things and leaving this house! Great, please! Listen, Amanda. If you think I will have my baby for you, you better think again! Greg, listen. Listen, okay? She, she has to carry her child, okay? She has to carry this child for us, Greg, please! Listen to yourself. Do you hear yourself talk? You're a sick woman. A very, very sick woman. Greg, she will carry our child! Jennifer has to carry our child for us, Greg! How could she do this to me? I can't have a baby. No way. Why do you want to see me unhappy? What does that even mean? Look, I want this baby, Greg, okay? Look, I can talk to Jenny into accepting to keep the baby, but you're not making it easier for us. There is no us in this! There is no us. This was all your idea. You planned this from the go. You lured her here to seduce me. But you would have rejected the baby, but you didn't! Oh, really? Fine. Then let's applaud you. You did a marvelous job with your selection. Look. Everything can just work out if you would just change this attitude of yours, Greg. And what next? What then? Yes, we go back to being normal. We act like none of this ever happened. Really? I guess not. What came over you, Amanda? What? This is not you. This is not the woman I married. Greg, I was desperate to make our marriage work, and this was the only way I knew how to. You don't even listen to yourself. Please just go. Please, I, I, I need to breathe. I need to be in my space. Just go, because I don't want to do anything stupid. Jennifer, please. I said get you out! You have to do this for us, please, Jennifer, okay? I said get out! I cannot do that until you promise me that you will, you will not hurt the baby. <gasps> please. You are a sick psycho. I said get out! Jennifer, just calm down. Get out! You're going to hurt the baby. I said get out! scream! You hurt the baby! What's the two of you? What's your problem? What is wrong with both of you? Calm down. Amanda. There is no way I'm having a baby by your sister. Not now, not ever. It's not going to happen. I don't know what you're going to do. But you're going to get rid of it. No, she's 
she won't? Yes, she will. I will not allow her do it. Then I won't allow you sober. No, no, I can't. We, we, we need that What's baby. What's your problem? Baby, baby Grace. What's your problem? Stop it! Both of you are wicked and selfish. I am the one that is hot. Nobody cares about me. All you care about is my baby. You are terrible. Greg, you are terrible. Listen, Jennifer. Look, granted, I know I cost everything here, okay? So, but do not talk to my husband like that. He is the victim here. You, you just got used. You've been obsessed with me. You've wanted everything that I have. You wanted my husband. So don't talk to him like that. He's the victim here. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm equally as guilty. The, the robbers. That was me. I was I was desperate to get rid of the pregnancy. I did I didn't know what to do. I had to do something. So I thought if they got physical with her, she would have a miscarriage or something. I the money, that was their payment. I, I brought it in the house to make everything look real. I'm really sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Amanda. Amanda, I told you, but you never believed me. Oh, Greg. I hate you. I hate you, my sisters. I hate everything about you. You are terrible. Get out. Get out. Get out. Yeah, well, it's been all right. It's been going okay. Wait, Greg, please, you need to hurry up. It's Jenny. Hurry up. What's wrong with her? Um, I'll call you back, okay? Oh, goodness. My goodness. Jennifer. What happened? I think she took all of these. Goodness. Jenny, just Jennifer. Get up, get up. Please take us to the hospital, please. Jenny, Why? Why? Jenny, why? why did you do this, Jennifer? Why now? Why? I have good and bad news for you. And I presume you want to hear the good news first. The good news is that she's good and she's out of danger. And the bad news? Um, as a result of the pills she took, she lost the baby. Can we take her home? Tonight. You can take her home tonight. She's out of danger. But she mustn't do anything stressful that will bring her back here for the third time within a short period. Well, we'll make sure of that. Please just hear me out, okay? Please. Jennifer, I am sorry. Please don't go, okay? Please. I'm sorry for everything that I did. Just find it in your heart to forgive me. I was pushed by my desperation. I didn't mean for things to turn out like this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jennifer. The baby is gone now. There's nothing more to hold on to. I regret everything. I've learned my lesson. 
I'm going out to to call off and clear my head of all this mess. By the time I get back, I do not want to see any trace of you. Okay. Else I won't be held accountable for what I'll do. Greg, please. Greg. Greg, please. Ha, ha, ha. 